Okay, so what I want to show you is a just a little tutorial um, of how I search for things in this Discus database. It's free for all South Carolina residents. So here, the first resource that I want to show you, it's underneath when you go to the Discus website, sediscus.org, there's an A to Z list of all the databases that are available in here. And so I want to scroll down, and one of my favorite ones to start with is this Credo reference. And when I start with the Credo reference, it, it, it's good because sometimes I don't know anything about the subject. So I'm, I really don't know a lot about Van Gogh. So I'm going to put in Van Gogh. And I'm going to search. I can do a basic search over here, or I can search for images, or I can do this mind map search. And the mind map is really, really cool because it pops up. Oh, I got to push search. It pops up a map of all the related topics that I could also explore. And they're hyperlinked so that I can click on them. So Van Gogh is known as a post impressionist artist. And so I can look at some more about post-impressionism this way and find out some more topics that are related to that and um, explore those kinds of things um, in my study, in our studies, in, in the lessons that I want to try to find stuff about. Here's pointillism. If I click on it, it'll bring pointillism up as the main topic. And these are subtopics that could go along with that. So you could continue on. Um, in that kind of way with your studies. Another good um, basic search here oh, hit the button pulls up the topics, different topics that are here but it also has articles and it also has images, lots of images that you can look at. Um, and find a lot of things that are related to um, Van Gogh that way. So another good resource that I like to look at is this uh, Learn 360. In Learn 360, it pulls up a lot of videos that you can use. And one of the things that I found, not videos, Van Gogh can't talk and walk at the same time. So I pulled up Van Gogh and it's got several clips that are in here. One of the things that I thought was really cool is this stroke of genius. There's a full length video in here that you can watch that's geared for grades eight to nine to 12 here. And there's a resource when you click on this, it pulls up an instructor's guide that's full of questions and extended activities that you can do that go along with that video. So I think that's a pretty cool thing, this Learn 360, one of the things that you can find in there. So let's go back now to this list and let's take a look at this Kids Info Bits. Kids Info Bits is a great way for the younger kids, there it is, Kids Info Bits, for elementary age resources that you might be looking for. And what's really great about this one is you can sort by you can sort by the content level. See here they've got content level and lexile levels of the different articles. So you can find things that are age appropriate for whichever level students you have that are trying to do some of these um, re research and um, exploration about Van Gogh. So it's better than Google that way because then you know that it's, you know, going to be a vetted article, but it's also age appropriate. So I love that about um, this Discus research resource. Um, another one that we can look at is called Biography. So I, these are all in alphabetical order. So I go up here, Biography and Context. And this is another great database that you can search for content about your Van Gogh, if I could spell it right. There's my subject that I want to look for. And it has a good overview that you can read about. But it also has different kinds of content. It has biographies, some of the images. It has some audio clips that are in here. 
Um, and underneath this, I found this great little um, audio clip about who really cut off Van Gogh's ear. <laughs> um, so you can listen to this NPR um, file, and it's again on a level four content level. It 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 um, shows you what. Uh, level it's appropriate for. So that's another good one, uh, biography in context. Um, okay, so the next one I want to show you then is this novel list. So if you're looking for books in the library or um, maybe beyond what your library carries, you can look at just all these books that are great resources in novel list for Van Gogh, for the topic Van Gogh. This is the keyword search, so I'm going to pull up all these different books that are about Van Gogh or they have Van Gogh in them. You can switch to a, um, you can sort these by, by age level, so you can find Let's see, search again. I should be able to search again. So I can search for books that are for under eight. So this gives me a better limit. Update results, there we go. So it sorts it down for picture books that I might want to look for. Um, and then you can also search for titles that read like this. You can find a list of books that are similar by maybe a different author that are that you might want to read as well so that is your novel list you can also sort out not only by the age but you can sort whether you want fiction or nonfiction so here's a bunch for ages 9 to 12 that are nonfiction books that you might want to look at um, about Van Gogh and now you can go and look for them either in your local library or request them from interlibrary loan or buy them somewhere online so it gives you another way to go and find some more resources about the subject that we're looking for now one more thing that I want to show you this is all where you go into a specific database but there is a smart search feature that kind of um, pulls up results from various uh, databases in here and I can search I can search across um, a bunch of things and this pulled up 98,000 results for me. So I can sort this out instead of having a keyword, I can have the subject, let Van Gogh be the subject of this, the article or the resource and that sorts it down to just 4,000 now. I can limit it by other things. I can limit it by the date of publication here. I could also limit it by my Lexile level if I wanted to, so I can find just the things that are um, age appropriate for my child and, and look at some of those things that are like that. Again, there's images over here that you can look at and videos so there's lots of different great things that you can go by here we are again under yeah the subject is van gogh so now i only have 148 results to search through things that i can go through and there's a full text and i can open that and read this article and if it's above your child's reading level it does have where they can play and choose which kind of an English accent they want, an American accent or an Australian or British accent. So it reads it to them and they can follow along 
as it reads to them. So that's another good thing. And these, once you find articles and links that you want, you can either save them, print them, send them to yourself in Google Drive so that you can make a collection of great resources to do your own little unit study here. So um, I hope you'll come back and take a look at some more of the resources that are in SC Discus, one of my favorite um, homeschool resources.